Hi, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is uh, an episode of The Facts. Um, with me tonight is Beth Griffith, Bern Nix, Andrew Bolotowski, and Richard Gross. Uh, and this is a, an episode about um, the future, about a, a person living in the future. And um, uh, in this episode, uh, in the future, set in the year 3000, uh, everybody's pocketbook is bottomless. Everyone's rich. So, Blau is 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 210 years old, and um, she she's she's looking for love. And um, in the, in the world, the world at this point in, is is full of serious people uh, who are who are free to be realistic, free to 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 see what they to talk about what they see, what they feel. Uh, um, so it, it's quite different from the world today. But, but it's similar to the world today in that they are still uh, savages, kind of animals looking around, trying to, you know, anxiously at each other. Um, it's still like that. <laughs> Oh! 
So by the end of the first hundred years of life, uh, an individual's beauty blossoms, and uh, you can you can see. You can see what they've experienced, more about what they've experienced. You can see what they want to be, and, and you can see uh, what they're likely to achieve. Uh, it, it becomes more visible. In other words, they're becoming more and more alive. There are in this story, okay. There are still there are still like distinct roles for men and women, similar to what's happened now among the educated Bohemian classes. You know, the loneliness is epidemic, and um, people tend to hide from one another. Uh, perhaps, uh, and I was thinking that perhaps this, the big efforts that it took to overcome the criminality of the thousand years before, like between now and when the story takes place, um, made people very wary of each other. You know, um, uh, let me read what I wrote here. Overcoming criminality focuses uh, it focused on the crimes of the powerful, since those were the they were the most pervasive, they were the most destructive, they were the most attractive area of crime. They were the area of crime that spoke most clearly to human what human beings are like. <laughs> Can I uh, make this factory and I, 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 I'm going to take it, I'm going to earn as much as I can off the sweat of your labor. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, oh, uh, I, I'm going to just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to steal from you and 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 steal, that's what I do. And I want your help, ladies and gentlemen, I want your help. So I can keep doing that, do more of that. Oh, 
in this in this period of time, uh, women's uh, sexual loyalty cannot be um, enforced uh, either economically or psychologically. Those days are over, and uh, men and women are uh, men are still stronger than women, but there is uh, because of uh, sophisticated martial arts and. Um, uh, strength training, uh, it, it doesn't mean as much. I, I think I read somewhere that like cave women were like half the size of the average man and it's been changing over time. Um, so we're about two thirds the size of the average guy. Um, <laughs> I've, I've been saying over and over again, I, this is one of my, I, I've got to find another way of saying because obviously I say the same thing over and over again, it doesn't mean anything, but that women are 50% of any population. Women are 50% of any population. It's, it's, I think it has real meaning, but I don't know what that is. Some creatures from outer space come here and they see, well, there's some human beings that are like this and human beings that are like that. losing weight, but people in this story that I'm writing about, they're never going to have to lose or gain weight. It never that, that kind of stuff can be taken care of very easily by the year 3000. It's not even a problem anymore. It's not even a problem anymore. Do you like to move?
losing weight. Um, so this character, her name is Palau, and her parents cared very deeply for her, but uh, they also, it, it, but that also sort of pulled them away from her. Um, they seemed competitive with her as well as disinterested in her. And, and they didn't hide this disinterest because they were modern people. And um, they were modern, they were educated, and they were thoughtful. So Palau, having had that initial uh, very you know, transformative experience, is worried that she's going to, um, uh, she'll be, find people that can't afford to like her. So here's, here's a few of the people that Palau is um, uh, measuring for this possible job, right? Uh, her next boyfriend. Uh, so um, um, so one is this guy named uh, Kay Tone, who's a, a quite, uh, is a bit older than her, and he, so he looks down on her, which is uh, both insulting and a turn on. And one of them is uh, Lloyd Dern. Um, he's very sensitive and, 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 and expressive, but he's bitter and he's confused and he's very self-involved and he's relaxed but he's also strict and they have lots of interests in common but perhaps their relationship would would truncate limit these interests and encase them in some kind of convention so does she want that uh, there's another one who's sort of uh, uh, breezy and funny but dull and, and, and smart but undereducated and then there's another one the last choice is physically would be a very easy match maybe emotionally but very different intellectually and it wouldn't it wouldn't work for long and then it might diminish the happy feeling she has for him now. What to choose, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to choose. I don't know what to choose, what to do, what to choose, what to do. Choose what to do, what to do, what to choose, what to do, what what's what's to do, what to do, what to choose, what to what way to go, how to be, what's a daughter to move if it done them the matter to be the poor
Andrew told me, uh, as he often tells people things that his father said, and um, I think it's quite appropriate for this story. And um, it, it struck me that that you, your father said that um, you, your real friends are not the people that, not the people that uh, um, are are. are you know, help you when you're down. Uh, even realer friends are those who um, are proud of your successes. Um, <laughs> This story is a part of a series on freedom. It's called Freedom. It's a 12-part thing investigating the human need for freedom. What is freedom? Freedom from what? Freedom to do what? Uh, what do you get from it? Uh, you know, and what do you get when you don't have it? And what partic particular freedoms? Not just any old freedoms, but some freedom. Freedom to think. Freedom to freedom to feel. Freedom to make mistakes, freedom to, freedom to get angry, freedom to, see you, this is, this, this is the facts, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you uh, next week. I hope you'll be there. Good night for now. You can also catch us on the web. Bye. <laughs>